Munene Tema and I'm from Mahike. The reason why I came to Cherish Church today is because I had a lot of confusion in my life. So I just wanted to sort that out. I would normally have dizziness, I would have forgetfulness, and I would feel like I'm going crazy and I'm not myself many times of the day. And I even came to a point where I said to myself, why am I living? I'm just waking up and going to sleep. There's nothing really for me. I had no direction. This caused me to be very isolated because I was scared to talk about this to my family. It caused my mom and dad worry because they saw that I wasn't acting as my normal self. So did it cause the same to my brother. It really affected my studies in the sense that my marks were dropping and I ended up leaving school. As a whole, as in my entire life, I was miserable, but I was good at hiding it. It also affected how I viewed God as in he's just there and not there to help or have a relationship with me. Today I got an opportunity to meet the servant of God. He asked me, am I still in school? And I said no. I left school after getting a vision from God about being one of his prophets. So I felt as if school wasn't necessary at that time. After that, he told me that I have tendencies of feeling as if I'm not myself, feeling as if I'm going crazy, and he also said that I have very serious dreams that he's concerned about, and he has to meet my father and brother to discuss about this stuff. My dreams, in my dreams, many of them, I would see myself being chased by people and their aim was to kill me. Every time I survived, I would say by the grace of God because I always found a way to outsmart them in a way I never thought. In my dreams, people would feed me things to eat. In my dreams, I would see things that I wouldn't understand. Then when I would talk to my father, he would confirm that it's true as if some people as one time I dreamt of seeing a neighbor who wanted to feed me something. Then he confirmed that that neighbor is a witch and it was good that I wasn't, I didn't eat those things. I, I feel very happy because he said things that I knew. He said things that I wanted to get off my chest but didn't know how. I felt relieved because this confirmed what I was thinking was wrong, that God didn't care about me, and that God loves me. My encouragement to people who have the same calling as I, or in the same category, anything to do with doing things of God, I would say, have a relationship with Him first before running into anything. Get to know your father before doing anything. And in life, I would say, I believe that Jesus Christ gave, came to give us life and life more abundantly. And I say, live your life. Do not stop it focusing on one thing because I believe he wants you to have a proper life where you have relationships with others and you have something that you'd like to do and that you grow as a person in his grace. So my advice to all of you there is keep on following God and he will show you what to do.
So you want to go back to school? So you, you go, which church are you going to there? This church. You are just staying at home? Yeah. The two churches that I listen to, one of Joseph Prince's ministries and TV Joshua ministries. Jesus, my child. Thank you, Lord, for restoring the life of this young woman. In the name of Jesus. For restoration. Thank you for what you're about to do in my life. In Jesus' name.